on a moonlit night, a little girl went missing in the woods. The rangers revealed her name was Cassandra, and she had gone camping with her Girl Scout troop. That first night, when everyone was gathered around the campfire, the little girl ignored what she had been taught about sticking with her camp buddy. She heard a little rustle in the nearby brush and thought she just might catch a bunny to keep as a pet. She quietly snuck off after the sound. It wasn't very long until her camp buddy noticed that the girl was missing, and she told the scout leader about it. The rest of the girls were ushered back to their cabin, and the scout leader and a few of the moms gathered their flashlights and set out to look for the girl. A short time later, a terrible thunderstorm blew in, making it impossible to keep looking for the missing camper. The moms decided it was best to turn back and continue the search after the storm had passed. After all, the little girl wasn't one of their daughters. However, the scout leader refused to give up. With her hair plastered to her face by the rain and the lightning flashing all around, she bravely walked into the woods, calling the little girl's name. The sound of her calling could be heard over and over until it faded away. When the moms arrived back at the cabins, they discovered that the little girl had found her way back on her own. And, except for a few scratches, was none the worse for wear. The violent storm continued through the night, but all was still by morning. However, there wasn't sight nor sound of the scout leader. The moms alerted the park rangers and a search party was formed, but not a trace was ever found of the missing scout leader. That was 10 years ago, but some people say you can still hear her ghost calling out the little girl's name. Cassandra, Cassandra.